Chapter 261 The Blazing Delicate Apricots Test Wang Qiuo was taken aback, and her eyes immediately grew sharp. She understood now, the delicate silk immortal had made things very clear. If Yuo Yuo hadn't chosen to risk his life to ingest that herb, they would probably have faced an all assault from the plant-type soul beasts around the ice fire Yin Yang Well. There was no need to discuss the other plants around them, as the hundred thousand year delicate silk immortal herself wasn't a force that they could deal with. In other words, Huo Yuo's impulsiveness had actually saved their lives. Huo Yuo's expression was calm, his spiritual sea had been boosted once more, and his mind had become more transparent and clearer than before. That outcome was something that he had guessed would happen, so it didn't come as a surprise to him. Huo Yuo heaved a sigh and said, It seems like I've been blessed with a fortuitous opportunity among all the dangers and perils. That means, you, I don't have to thank you. What I want to know is, what test will I have to go through after this? What test will I have to complete to obtain that book? The delicate silk immortal puffed indignantly and said, You should still thank me. Look, the full moon piercing autumn dew I chose for you is so compatible with you, even though the full moon piercing autumn dew can't be considered the best magical herb around here. It's still ranked amongst the immortal herbs, and it's also one of the most appropriate herbs for you in this place. Furthermore, it's the easiest to absorb. I didn't let you feel any pain or suffering at all. Who are you? I forced a laugh and said, But I've sustained a lot of emotional pain. All right, thank you. Then, you can tell me about the test I have to go through now. The delicate silk immortal was satisfied as she said, That's better. The test before this has proven that your personality is trustworthy. That means, the subsequent test will be about your abilities. You can't protect this book even if you have it if you're not strong enough. Yes? Therefore, according to what that person said, you have to display sufficient ability before you can take this book. You will have to fight against a soul suitable for your level to prove that you have sufficient strength. This combat. Wait, can you get to the point? Who are you? I had no choice but to interrupt the delicate silk immortal, as she was just too long-winded. If you were to let her continue like this, you would probably start feeling dizzy by the time there was a conclusion. The delicate silk immortal grunted and said, It hasn't been easy for me to find someone to talk to, and you're not going to let me talk more. Do you have any courtesy left in you? Humph, I will choose a strong one for you. Then, Ajao, Ajao, are you there? Please answer me if you are. Ajao. Who are you? Our eyes focused, and a strange event occurred. The four pupils in his eyes flickered at the same time, and his dual pupils fused together, with a purple pupil behind and his black pupil in front. The purple pupil was slightly larger, and it appeared as if his black pupil had a purple light around it. Who are you? Our released his spirit eyes, and purple and black light sparkled at the same time. If one didn't inspect them closely, one would only be able to see that his eyes had become entirely purple golden. He hadn't released his purple demon eyes, and yet his eyes were already purple gold. Ajao, Ajao, please answer me. Otherwise, I'm going to disturb you. The delicate silky model's petals began to flap around as she spoke, and a white streak of light appeared from the white part of the lake before condensing in the air as ice crystals. The crystals instantly lined up in a formation as they pushed towards the center of the shore on the red side. You're so irritating. You, you, you garrulous thing. You're interrupting my pleasant dreams again. An intensely displeased voice was finally heard. It was also a female voice. However, her voice was a lot brighter and crisper, and she didn't have you use tenderness. Her voice sounded a little more valiant. A red sphere lit up on the red lake shore in the distance, and Huo Yuao and Wang Qiuo could finally see where this other enormous talking flower was located. This plant was completely fiery red. It didn't really look like a flower, and was instead extremely tall. It was almost ten feet tall, while the open flower was slightly smaller than the delicate silver model in diameter, and in the shape of a cabbage, its entire body seemed like it had been sculpted from red root. Sculpted from red rubies. It glowed once more, and the temperature of the air inside the valley rose a little bit. Huo Yuao and Wang Qiuo were both highly resistant to heat, but they could still feel heat waves smacking them in the face, and they instinctively channeled their soul power to fight against them. The delicate silky mortal said, Ah Jiao, can't you see that we have visitors? You shall conduct this assessment. I can lift a burden off my chest if you can pass this test. The plant referred to as Ah Jiao answered, What burden do you have to lift? Isn't it just about the crystals that we have cultivated for many years? I sincerely hope that nobody comes to visit us. The delicate silky mortal giggled and said, What's wrong with that? We don't have any use for the crystals even if we keep them. Furthermore, he may not even pass your test. Without that person's help all those years ago, we would have ceased to exist. Why do you have to be so petty? If you are that unwilling, then I will let Anasi do it. This will prove that Anasi is more powerful than you are. Nonsense. How is that scoundrel stronger than me? It's obvious that I'm stronger, so you shut up. Come here, little boy, and let me teach you a lesson. Please bugger off from this place as soon as you lose. The fiery red plant trembled, and a red beam of light soared from her body into the sky. A strange scene appeared. The dense vegetation in the valley suddenly opened a path as the plants on the ground separated to either side, and a path was created all the way from the delicate silver model to where the fiery red plant was located. The delicate silver model said to Huo Yuao, Go, go. Our Jiao's temper isn't so good, and she is known as the blazing delicate apricot. She's a fire type immortal herb, and she's extremely hot. Furthermore, you will be affected by the blazing sunspring when you're fighting over there. Huo Yuao laughed bitterly and said, She's a hundred thousand years old beast, and I only have five soul rings. She has every advantage possible. Doesn't that mean I'm just throwing my life away if I carry on with this test? The delicate silver model said, Are you stupid? I never said that you have to defeat her. All you have to do is pass the test. Quickly, now. You cannot ask me how you can pass this test, as everyone does it differently. It's all up to you now. Who are you and knew that he couldn't back down at a time like this? Furthermore, for some reason, his other senses had risen to another level after his spirit eyes evolved, and he could even detect a little bit of another person's thoughts and feelings. For instance, he could feel intense worry and anxiety from Wang Qiu beside him, while he didn't feel any hostility or evil intentions from the delicate silver mortal. It felt like this large flower and the plants around them no longer harbored any hostility or aggression towards them after he had passed the first test. Who are you was naturally a lot more confident than before with this realization. He nodded in Wang Qiu's direction before he widened his stride and stepped onto the path that the plants had opened. Wang Qiu hurriedly attempted to follow him, but the plants before her immediately closed up and sealed off her path. Voluminous vines swept into the sky and transformed into a barricade that prevented her from moving forward. You can't go. This is a test that he has to face by himself. The delicate silver model's voice rang out. Wang Qiu. Wang Qiu shot a cold glare at her and said, Have you forgotten what I said before this? Ah. Uh. Don't be like that. Okay, okay, I'll just tell you secretly. No danger will come to him even if he fails the test, as everybody is now treating him like a friend after he passed the personality test. Come, chat with me. The two of you can leave in peace even if he doesn't pass this test. Wang Qiu glanced at her. She wasn't afraid that the flower was lying to her, and so she decided to sit down on the spot. However, she didn't utter a single sound, let alone chat with the delicate silk immortal. The delicate silk immortal was becoming a little bored and dejected. Her large pink flower began to droop as she muttered under her breath. You're not interesting at all. You think you possess? Shut up. Wang Qiu fired off another fiery glare as golden light erupted, and an intimidating look flowed from her pinkish blue eyes. The plants around her arched backward conspicuously, as if they had been blown back by a gust of strong wind. The delicate silver model said hurriedly, All right, all right, calm down, calm down, I'll just stop talking. Who are you? I didn't hear their conversation, as his attention had been locked entirely onto the blazing delicate apricot ever since he stepped onto the path created by those plants. There was no question that she was a formidable fire type plant soul beast, and she was a hundred thousand year soul beast as well. He knew that he was no match for her,
Sandra was. Not a single plant grew within 200 feet around her, and the plants that lived beyond 200 feet were mostly red, or close to red. There was no question that they were all fire-type plants. Who are you? I didn't know much about this mystical place, but he had been observing everything around him ever since he had arrived. He had discovered through his observations that the plants in this mystical cornucopia had their own hierarchy. The plants that were located closer to the ice fire yin yang well were either highly resistant to intense chill or intense heat, or they were extremely compatible with these temperatures. That also meant the plants closer to the lake were stronger than the others. The delicate silk immortal and the blazing delicate apricot grew by the lake shore, and there was no doubt that these two flowers were some of the strongest entities in this place. The delicate silk immortal grew at a location near the lake's intersection, meaning her element was relatively neutral, and she didn't lean towards ice or fire. However, the blazing delicate apricot before him was undoubtedly the dominant one among all the fire-type plants. As she took up the central spot on the blazing sun springs shore, all these discoveries were important to who are you are. At least, it was a start to understanding this place better. He took another step and finally entered that barren patch of land. Who are you are immediately felt a wave of intense and scorching heat hit him in the face, and even his clothes began to smell burn. The air around him was rippling from the heat. It's so hot. Who are you are almost instinctively unleashed his ice empress armor, which covered his entire body. Ultimate Body. Ultimate ice was ultimate ice after all, and even though Huo Yuao was still a world away from the blazing delicate apricot's cultivation and close to the blazing sun spring, he still had enough strength to protect himself in such an environment. The blazing delicate apricot quivered faintly as she said, Hey, ultimate ice. It's no wonder you want me to do it. Little guy, let me see if your ultimate ice is stronger, or if my ultimate fire is stronger. Who are you are forced to laugh and replied, That doesn't seem very fair, senior, as our cultivations are not equal in the first place. Furthermore, you have the blazing sunspring behind you that you speak of, so my abilities will be greatly reduced. How could I be a match for you? The blazing delicate apricot grunted and said, Weren't you extremely courageous when you ingested the full moon piercing autumn dew? Why are you cowering away now? Who are you are answered seriously, I'm not cowering away. The only thing is that book is extremely important to me, and I absolutely have to pass your test. Therefore, all I'm hoping for is that the test will be more just and fair. I also believe that you're not the kind to bully weaker individuals. The blazing delicate apricot said plainly, saying all that is useless. My test has been predetermined, and what you shall face is an opponent that is equal to your abilities, ultimate fire. However, your opponent will be supported by the blazing sunspring, and you will pass if you defeat your opponent. Otherwise, you can leave. The blazing delicate apricot leaned backwards vigorously as she spoke, and a peculiar fiery red whirlpool suddenly appeared in front of the flower. The whirlpool resembled a colossal whale sucking in water as it drew in a large pool of fiery red spring water from the blazing sunspring before firing the water into the air in a violent pillar. The fiery red pillar of water condensed and didn't fall apart. The air around it began to twist energetically and contort wherever this pillar passed, and the temperature within the valley skyrocketed once more. The test has begun. The blazing delicate apricot's emotionless voice rang out. The purplish golden light in Huo Yuao's eyes became more intense as he half crouched, and he made a pose as if he were about to erupt at any moment. His right hand's dark golden terracle lashed out, and a bluish green light shone like a wave from his chest. The fiery red pillar descended from the sky and came directly for Huo Yuao. The blazing delicate apricot's voice could be heard once more. Oh, yes. You're not allowed to step out of this barren area to avoid damaging the plants around you. You will lose if you step out of this area. Huo Yuao would have cursed at the top of his voice if he could, or if he had the time to curse. He couldn't step out of this area, and that meant he would have to battle in the second hottest place within this valley. His ultimate ice would be greatly weakened in the process. While the blazing delicate apricot's intense heat would be greatly amplified, how could he win this fight? Even if they had the same cultivation, it was a pity that he had no time or space to curse. The searing pillar of water bore down on him as his spirit ice stared ahead, and he could clearly feel how frightening this attack was. The blazing sun spring was so hot that even Marsh Adao's transformation into the darkness phoenix couldn't compare to it. This was true ultimate fire. The red pillar of the red pillar of water covered an enormous area, but Huo Yuan didn't intend to meet force with force. He tapped on the ground with his foot, and his entire body sprang into the air like a lightning bolt. He twisted and somersaulted in the sky as he nimbly dodged the pillar. Some of the blazing spring water smeared across his ice empress armor, and some of the diamond crystals formed by the armor melted as a result. However, he managed to jump through an opening, and his left hand supported him on the ground as his body turned once more in the air. He tapped on the ground with his foot and changed directions as he let through yet another crack in the pillar. His spiritual detection had evolved, and this gave him even greater ability to grasp opportunities. He narrowly but impeccably evaded the blazing sun spring's attack. However, the scorching spring water didn't disappear when it landed on the ground. Instead, it congregated together strangely and instantly transformed into a humanoid figure. Huo Yuan had initially believed that he would be facing the blazing delicate apricot. This was the reason why he was still on guard against her. He leapt through the air. Only now did he realize that his opponent was that fiery red spring water. The spring water congregated into a female human figure. Her features were faint and subtle, while there seemed to be a long red ponytail that draped all the way to her feet. Her figure was stunning, but it was a pity that the temperature emanating from her body was simply too frightening. The blazing delicate apricot released another red beam that landed on the body the water had formed, and this fiery girl immediately became golden red. Her hands were lowered to her sides, and she now had a long flaming blade in each hand. She tapped her foot on the ground and pounced towards Huo Yuao, raising the two blades high above her head and slashing out violently. Huo Yuao's spiritual detection allowed him to detect even the smallest details and elemental differences after his purple demon eyes ascended into the mustard domain. He looked on speechlessly as countless red specks of elemental fire swiftly congregated toward the fire lady's twin blades as she raised her blades in the air. The fiery radiance at the tips of her blades reached up more than ten feet when she finally slashed down. And all of that was the unbelievably searing ultimate fire. Huo Yuao was at a great disadvantage because he was forced to fight this fire lady within the area designated by the blazing delicate apricot. The temperature in this place wasn't even, and the closer it was to the blazing sun spring, the higher it became. And the closer he was to the blazing delicate apricot, the hotter it became. Huo Yuao felt as if the ultimate ice within his body was being greatly suppressed and stifled. I'm dodging this. Huo Yuao's body flickered as he used the ghost shadow perplexing track, and he once again relied on the might of his spiritual protection to leap through an opening within the pattern of the flaming knives. But this time, he retaliated. Bluish green light converged in front of his chest, and an extremely chilly bluish green pillar of light burst out from his chest. Ice Empress Roth. Huo Yuao's eyes grew slack immediately after he unleashed this attack. The blazing sun spring seemed like it had a life of its own, as if it could feel Huo Yuao's ultimate ice. The fiery red spring water surged into the air, as if something had induced a tidal wave, and an intense heat wave rushed toward him in the next moment. Huo Yuao's ice Empress Roth hadn't even. Empress Roth hadn't even reached the Fire Lady yet, but most of its strength had been dispelled by the scorching heat. The Fire Lady seemed like she had just taken steroids, and her frame exploded in size. Her former scarlet gold color was now almost entirely gold. Her now golden flaming knives crossed, and Huo Yuao's ice Empress Roth was cut into a million pieces. How do I fight this? The Blazing Sunspring can also help it fight? This? Isn't this cheating? Huo Yuao was truly exasperated. However, he was the passive one in this test, and he was in no position to determine the test's criteria. The Fire Lady pounced toward him once more in a flash. This time, she wasn't in a hurry to slash down with her flaming knives, and her movements changed right when Huo Yuao attempted to dodge her using Ghost Shadow Perplexing Track. The Fire Lady's body also became a little illus
In the end, instant teleportation was just too quick. While the dark golden Terracor's area of effect was too vast at the same time, the Fire Lady was formed by the searing blazing sunspring, but even though she seemed to possess abilities similar to Huo Yuao's, she was caught off guard, and even though she could use ghost shadow perplexing track and blazing delicate apricot was controlling her, she couldn't evade Huo Yuao's sudden and explosive attack. Huo Yuao's sharp blades slashed through her in an instant, and the Fire Lady's body was cut into multiple pieces by the frightening dark golden blades. Is it over? Huo Yuao was ecstatic. He had always been absolutely confident of his Dark Old and Terracor's offensive ability, and even powerful Light Ring Soul Sages would probably be injured if they took a direct hit from this attack. However, something else happened that made his eyes droop and his mouth go slack. The Fire Lady was sliced into several large pieces. However, these pieces reverted into spring water once they dropped water once they dropped to the ground, and the liquid swiftly congregated once more. The Fire Lady reappeared in the time that Huo Yuao spent in a daze, and she resumed slashing at him with her long flaming knives once more. This time, she pounced toward Huo Yuao as if she loomed over the entire world, and it felt as if the Fire Lady had a life of her own, and she was angry. Physical attacks are useless. Can they stop cheating like that? It was Huo Yuao's turn to panic. He retreated at breakneck speed as he raised his left hand, and a golden light screen immediately transformed into a ripple as he placed it before him. The golden ripple didn't cover much, but it was large enough to protect Huo Yuao behind it. The flaming knives bore down on it, but they were actually reflected, and the Fire Lady seemed like she was waiting her flaming knives to slash herself, while her body suddenly grew a little slack. The life reflecting shield's defensive abilities were absolutely outstanding. However, its reflecting effect was definitely nothing much against the Fire Lady, who didn't have a life of her own. Furthermore, the Fire Lady was emanating ultimate fire, so Sky Dream's agonizing howls instantly rang out in Huo Yuao's mind. The Fire Lady didn't have life, so the life reflecting shield's most prominent feature of absorbing the opponent's life energy to reflect it back couldn't take effect at all. This naturally made Sky Dream extremely annoyed and frustrated. I can't use it anymore. I'll hurt Brother Sky Dream. Huo Yuao exasperatedly realized the sorrowful situation he was in. Every single ability he possessed was being weakened as he continued to fight his Fire Lady. Huo Yuao naturally wasn't willing to be passive, and he wasn't about to allow the Fire Lady to beat him down. The life reflecting shield didn't hurt the Fire Lady, but it bought him enough time to make a comeback. Orange gold light flickered, and the little Snow Lady emerged behind him. The Snow Lady wasn't used to the searing environment around her, and her tiny eyebrows began to frown as she began to chitter. However, Huo Yuao began to unleash his abilities at this moment. The Ice Empress Jade Scorpion's five soul rings lit up at the same time, one red, and four orange soul rings sparkled as his ultimate ice was channeled to the highest possible level. His fourth soul ring sparkled brilliantly, and the Snow Lady's figure became a little illusory as the Snow Empress arrogance descended upon the world once more. In the moment that the Snow Empress projection appeared, the Fire Lady in front of her and the blazing delicate apricot not far from where they were became a little listless. The Snow Empress was formed by the icy Snow Lady, even though she didn't have her original body, she still retained some of the aura of her formidable 700,000 year cultivation. Furthermore, the Snow Empress could be considered the strongest entity amongst ice type soul beasts, and her element was a natural counter to fire. Even though the blazing delicate apricot was next to the blazing sunspring, she couldn't help but feel a little fear. Two figures merged back together in the next moment, and an icy white beam of light erupted from Huo Yuao from Huo Yuao with his body at the center. This was the fusion between the Snow Empress Snowy Dance of the Brilliant Sun and Huo Yuao's Domain of Perpetual Ice. The Snowy Dance of Ultimate Ice, Huo Yuao's strongest area control soul skill, had been unleashed. Physical attacks were nearly useless against the Fire Lady, and what use was his spirit eye spiritual power against something that was just a puppet? Perhaps he could attack the blazing delicate apricot directly, but if he infuriated her, furthermore, she was a hundred thousand year soul based, so how effective could his spiritual attacks be? Huo Yuao didn't have the time for that anyway, as the Fire Lady continued to pressure him. Huo Yuao had experimented with his attacks to the point where he was being suppressed on all fronts, so he finally unleashed his trump card. The Snow Empress three ultimate techniques were formidable, and they were truly unrivaled among all other snow and ice skills. The icy blue colors that suddenly erupted immediately dispelled the scorching heat around him, and began to extend outward with lightning speed. It was very likely that his spirit eyes had undergone a second awakening and positive change, which led to a great boost in his spiritual level, and especially his control of spiritual power. Once the snowy dance of ultimate ice was unleashed, it immediately blanketed the fire lady as if it loomed over the entire world. Huo Yuao was like a blooming snow plum flower as he bore down on her from the sky amid the scorching heat. Snowflakes flurried as they threatened to consume the fire lady, while Huo Yuao himself was hidden within his domain. Huo Yuao was feeling the full effects of how his spiritual control had been amplified. He felt as if every snowflake within his snowy dance of ultimate ice was under his control, and his spiritual power was like an enormous formless web that connected them all. His domain felt as if it were a part of him and he could control it at whim. The sensation was just too fantastic. However, the pressure that Huo Yuao felt suddenly increased exponentially. The release of the snowy dance of ultimate ice meant he was no longer just targeting the fire lady. He was going against the superheated environment around him. This also meant he was targeting the blazing delicate apricot and the blazing sunspring. The snowy dance of ultimate ice's mighty strength was limited to less than 30% of its original power inside this extreme environment. The scorching heat meant there was hardly any moisture in the air, and the temperature itself was incredibly high. Huo Yuao's soul power was consumed continuously, as if it were leaking out of his body. The fire lady seemed to feel the immense threat borne by Huo Yuao's snowy dance of ultimate ice, and she began to move the moment Huo Yuao's domain was unleashed. However, this wasn't an attack. She began to move sideways with lightning speed as she darted rapidly towards the blazing delicate apricot. Huo Yuao naturally directed his domain in pursuit of the fire lady. The snowy dance of ultimate ice was about to touch the fire lady. Large amounts of water vapor could be seen evaporating from the fire lady's body, while her scarlet gold colors swiftly grew dull. However, something interfered with Huo Yuao's battle once again. Boom. The blazing sunspring seemed infuriated, and it exploded as if it were a mother trying to protect her kid. Protect her kid. The burning red spring water surged into the sky. The blazing sunspring didn't retaliate against Huo Yuao. The red spring water surged vertically into the air, but this sudden instance of extremely high temperature was enough to dispel half of Huo Yuao's snowy dance of ultimate ice. The domain that was just about to envelop the fire lady naturally missed its target and could only continue forward. The fire lady took this opportunity to run behind the blazing delicate apricot. The domain inevitably loomed over the blazing delicate apricot, and the flowers body erupted with an intense golden red light. What happened afterwards? There was no afterwards. The blazing sunspring and the blazing delicate apricot worked together against the snowy dance of ultimate ice, and the entire domain dissipated to the point where not a single snowflake remained. Huo Yuao's cheeks were flushed red from the intense heat, and he stumbled backwards. Fortunately, the blazing sunspring's eruption only lasted for a single moment, and the temperature dropped back down once the red spring water returned to the well. However, the fire lady came out from behind the blazing delicate apricot as she flashed her twin knives and raced toward Huo Yuao mercilessly. Wait. Huo Yuao shouted at the top of his voice. What? The blazing delicate apricot sounded rather bored and answered extremely casually. The corner of Huo Yuao's mouth twitched as he said, This is cheating, senior. The blazing sunspring's eruption can still be explained because it was affected by my ultimate ice aura. But how am I to continue with this test if you interfere as well? The blazing delicate apricot's voice was full of surprise. What? Cheating? How am I cheating? The blazing
While the blazing delicate apricot and who are you I were talking, the fire lady had actually jumped into the blazing sunspring, and only came back out when the flower called her back. The fire lady had recovered completely from her weakened aura and energy, and once again sparkled with scarlet gold light. She seemed like she had been revitalized. That also meant that if who are you I continued with the battle, he would be facing the fire lady once more in her peak condition. Who are you I's expression grew dark. He took a deep breath and said decisively, I want to try one more time, Cena. However, I wish to give everything I have, and it will be a proper defeat even if I lose. Do you mind letting me leave your arena to replenish my soul power, so that I can have a proper and final fight with the fire lady? That's up to you. The blazing delicate apricot said, However, I can't guarantee that other plants won't attack you if you leave my arena. It was as if she hadn't said anything at all. He would be affected by the intense heat if he didn't leave the area around her, and his recovery would be severely impeded, to the point where he could be weakened instead. Surprisingly, who are you out his teeth and sat down on the spot. The ultimate eyes aura around him disappeared, and a faint golden light replaced it. The golden radiance was full of spiritual undulations that protected him within. The air around him was so hot that heat waves were rising from the ground, but it didn't seem like it affected him much at all. There was a classic milk bottle in Huo Yuao's hands he used to gradually replenish his soul power. The blazing delicate apricot seemed like she liked to cheat, but she didn't take this opportunity to send the fire lady to attack him. She let the fire lady, who had been restored to her peak condition, stand to one side. Wang Yuo was quite far from the battle, but she could see and hear everything that was happening. There was no question that the blazing delicate apricot had been hindering Huo Yuao this entire time, even though she had said she wasn't going to interfere. In addition to the blazing sun springs effects, Huo Yuao's ultimate ice had been greatly weakened. Wang Yuo didn't see a single thread of a chance that Huo Yuao could emerge victorious despite all his fighting spirit and willpower. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.